first grade. It's me, Miss Ed, and today we're going to do another mini lesson with math. All right, so like always, I'm going to make myself nice and small. Thank you guys for staying with me. I'm going to find my presentation and go ahead and get started. So it says, Dear scholars, you will need these materials to learn with Lola today. You're going to need a whiteboard, a dry erase marker, and eraser, and you're also going to need a number bonds mat. But remember, if you do not have these things, you may um, go ahead and follow along with me because I will make sure that you can see it on the screen. You can also use a uh, paper and pencil. So today with Lola, we're going to be using keywords to solve addition to 20 problems. Remember Lola? Today, she's going to practice solving story problems by learning keywords you might see in addition problems. So today, you and I are going to talk about and learn keywords to help us solve addition problems. Can we say hello to Lola? She says, hello, nice to see you again. Wow, Lola and her cousins went to the movies. They got popcorn and drinks at the snack bar. If they bought five small popcorn bags to share and 12 small drinks, how many snacks did they buy in all? All right, so Lola and her cousins went to the movies. They got popcorn and drinks at the snack bar. If they bought five small popcorn bags to share and 12 small drinks, how many drinks did they buy in all? So here are some key words that you might see in math problems. I see and, in all. All together, join, total, add, plus, and sum. Story problems usually have keywords that help us figure out what to do. These words are key words. They're sort of kind of like special clue words that help you know that it is an addition problem. Today, we are working on addition problems, so we might see words like in all, all together, join, total, you might also see some obvious words like add, plus, or sum in a word problem. Those would really help us know that it is time to add. Reread the problem. Do you see any of the words, any of those special keywords in our story problem? Very good. I see the words in all that tell us that we need to add. We are also going to underline the keyword. In all. Let's also circle the numbers that we will need to help us solve the problem. 5 and 12. So we're going to need those two numbers to help us solve the problem. Work along with Lola on your number bonds mat. Every story problem is really working on number bonds that form an equation. The story problem will tell you two of the numbers in the number bond. Your job is to figure out the missing part. We can use our number bond mat to help us figure out what we need to know and what we don't know. We know they bought five bags of popcorn. That was one part of the snacks that they bought, so we can put it there. We also know that they bought 12 drinks. That was the other part of the snacks they bought, so we can put that part there. What we don't know yet is how many snacks they bought in all. So that's where our problem is. That is what we need to figure out to solve this story problem. So let's work along Lola on your whiteboard. We can use our whiteboard to draw the parts of the problem we know. When we draw pictures to help solve problems, it is important to keep the shape simple. We know that they bought five bags of popcorn. I'm going to use rectangles to show the bags of popcorn. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's recount the bags of popcorn to make sure we drew five. One, two, three, four, five. Everyone can make mistakes. Good mathematicians always go back and check their work. So yes, we drew five bags. Okay, now what should we draw? That's right, we need to draw the other part we know. We know that they also bought 12 drinks. Let's use circles to show the drinks. Circles remind me of the tops of the cups. So let's recount the cups to make sure we do 12. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Super! Now let's write the part of the equation we know. We know that the two parts need to be added together, so 5 plus 12. We don't know what the sum is yet, or the whole. We don't know that yet. Tell a partner how we can figure out what the whole is. So go ahead, pause the video, and tell a partner. Great job. That's right. We can just count all the snacks together. So let's count. Count them carefully, then count them again to check your work. Did you count 17? Great job. Now that tells us what? That's right. It tells us how many snacks my cousins and I bought at the movies. Let's go back to our story problem. 5 plus 12 equals 17 snacks. That's a lot of snacks. That's because we have a lot of cousins. All right, friends, let's try another one. Erase your whiteboards. Juanita's Pet Shop. Lola's aunt owns a pet shop. In one fish tank, she had seven fish. Yesterday, she added 11 more fish. How many are in the tank now? So, again, here are those keywords that we might need to know. Lola's aunt owns a pet shop. In one fish tank, she added seven fish. Yesterday, she added 11 more fish. How many are in the tank now? Reread the problem. Do you see any of the key words in our story problem? Very good. The word added tells us that we need to add the number of fish together. Let's underline the key words. Great job. And circle the numbers that we need to help us solve the problem. 7 and 11. All right, let's use our number bond. Now we can use our number bond mat to help us figure out what we need to know and what we don't know. We know that there are seven fish in the tank at the beginning of the story. That is just part of the fish. We also know that she added 11 more fish. That is the other part of the total number of fish in the tank. What we don't know yet is how many fish are in the tank now. That is what we need to figure out to solve this problem. So we can use our whiteboards to draw the parts of the problems we know. We know that there are seven fish in the tank. I'm going to use little circles to show the fish. Let's recount and make sure we drew seven. Good job. Remember, good mathematicians always go back and check their work. Yes, we drew seven fish. Okay, now what should we draw? Great job. That's right. We need to draw the other part we know. We know that Lola's aunt added 11 more fish the next day. I will use triangles for the new fish. It doesn't really matter what shape you use, but it is helpful to use two different shapes when you're adding numbers together. So let's recount the triangles to make sure we drew 11. Super! Now let's write the part of the equation we know. We know that the two parts needed to be added together, so 7 plus 11. We don't know what the sum is yet or the total. Tell a partner how we can figure out the whole. That's right, first grade. We can just count all the fish together. Count them carefully and then count them again to check your work. Did you get 18? Great. Now what does the 18 tell us? That's right. It tells us how many fish are in the tank now. Let's go back to our story problem. So now we know that 7 plus 11 equals 18 fish. Let's try one more problem. Erase your whiteboards. Lola's class was lining up for lunch. There were six kids with lunch boxes. 13 students bought school lunches. If no one was absent that day, how many students are in Lola's class all together? So again, let's look at some of those keywords. Reread the problem. Do you see any of the keywords in our story problem? Very good. The words all together tell us that we need to add the number of students together. Let's underline the keyword all together and circle the numbers that we need to help us solve the problem. So 6 and 13. Lola's class was lining up for lunch. There were six kids with lunch boxes, 13 board school lunches. How many students are in Lola's class altogether? 
So we can use our number bond mat to help us figure out what we know and what we don't know. We know six students brought their lunch to school that day. This is just part of the class. We also know that 13 students brought a school lunch. That is the other part of the class. What we don't know yet is how many students are in the class altogether. So that's our whole. We don't know that part yet. That is what we need to figure out to solve this story problem. So let's use our whiteboard. We know that there are six students with lunch boxes. I'm going to use little squares to show the lunch boxes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Great job. Let's recount again to make sure the squares we drew show six. Remember, first grade good mathematicians always go back and check their work. Yes, we drew six lunch boxes. Okay, now what should we draw next? That's right. We need to draw the other part we know. We know that there were also 13 students who brought a school to lunch that day. I'm going to use circles to show the 13 school lunches. So let's recount the circles to make sure we drew 13. Super! Now let's write the part of the equation we know. We know that the two parts need to be added together. So 6 plus 13. We don't know what the sum is yet, so we have to figure that part out. How do we figure that part out? How do we figure out the whole? That's right, we could just count all the student lunches together. Count them carefully and then count them again to check your work. Did you count 19? Great job, me too. Now, what does the number 19 tell us? That's right, it tells us how many students are in the class. Let's go back to our story problem. So we now know that 6 plus 13 equals 19 students. Terrific, first grade. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Great job with Ms. Sab today. Now you are ready to solve more story problems with your teacher. All right, here's our exit ticket. Mrs. Evans has 13 pink flowers on her desk at school. She has five purple flowers on her desk at home. How many flowers does she have all together? So stop this video for a second. Reread the problem, draw a picture on your whiteboard, count the picture, and send a picture to your teacher so that they will be able to give you credit for your exit ticket today. Remember, look for some of those keywords, circle the numbers, and use your number bond mat. Terrific. You should be able to solve addition word problems by using the key words. Remember to submit your exit ticket also to your teacher. Thanks for learning with Lola today. See you next time.